Hello friends, I am Marek Hun Bim Long from Physics Department, Assam Dan Bosco University. In this video, I am going to discuss about what is photodiode. Well friends, a photodiode is a special type of PN junction device that generates current when exposed to radiation or light. Uh, it is also sometimes referred to as a photodetector or photosensor. Photodiodes are specially designed to operate in reverse bias condition and converts light energy into electrical energy. <coughs> now let's have a look at the symbol of photodiode. In the symbolic representation of photodiode, these two invert arrows represent its exposure to radiation. Uh, it's, it, uh, it is specifically a reverse bias diode that means it operates when reverse bias voltage is applied, is provided to it. Now let's have a look at the principle of photodiode. Photodiode works on the principle of photoelectric effect. The operating principle of the photodiode is such that when the junction of this two terminal semiconductor device is illuminated, then the electric current starts flowing through it. Only minority current flows through the device when the certain reverse uh, potential is applied to it. Now guys, let's move further and understand the operation or working of photodiode. As we know that when reverse bias potential is applied to a diode, then only minority current will flow through the device and this current is known as reverse current. So initially, when the junction uh, is not exposed to, uh, exposed to any type of radiation or light, then only minority current will flow through the device and the current is known as dark current. The name itself is indicating that dark current flows through the device in the absence of any type of radiation. The movement of minority carriers across the junction, a minority carriers for the P side is electrons and minority carriers for the N sides are holes. The, so the movement of these minority carriers uh, across the junction will generate, a, will generate a small reverse current and this reverse current is known as dark current. After a certain point of time, uh, the movement of these minority carriers generates the depletion region across the junction. This is, this is a depletion region. This depletion region uh, contains neutral atoms um, that does not allow uh, any further flow of electron or holes across the junction. Now, at this particular time, we provide radiation or light to the junction. As the radiation falls uh, on the surface of this junction, the temperature of the junction increases. Uh, increases. With the increase in temperature, these electrons and holes, um, these electrons and holes start separating from each other. At the time of separation, uh, the, holes, the holes present in this region uh, gets attracted towards the negative potential of the battery and the electron present uh, will get attracted to the positive potential of the battery. Also due to this whole process that happens over here allows the flow of current to take place and also with the increase in intensity of radiation, the current through the device also increases. More simply, uh, we can say we can say that the current through the device is directly proportional to the intensity of light, which means that that when uh, uh, that when the intensity of light increases, the the current through the device also increases. Uh, here are the points for the explanation of working of a photodiode. Um, now, guys, let's move further to understand the characteristics of photodiode. Um, from this diagram, we see that the x-axis represents the reverse applied voltage and the y-axis represents the current that flows through the device on the application of reverse voltage. Uh, as I have already explained in the working, that a small current will flow through the device and this is that small reverse, and this is that small reverse current. So when the junction is not exposed to any type of radiation, and this is, uh, uh, this is the dark current which is drawn over here. So the first curve in the figure represents the dark current. 
So when the junction is exposed to radiation, the cotton will now the cotton will now starts increasing and it will totally become independent of uh, the reverse voltage. Once because once the junction is uh, illuminated, the carriers will flow only due to the intensity of light due to the increase in temperature and the reverse bias voltage will not play any role in this condition. We can clearly say here that after illuminated, the curve show equal the cu uh, curve show equal spacing between them. This is so because the intensity of incident radiation that falls under that falls at the junction of photodiode is directly proportional to the current uh, that flows through the device. Or we can say the current increases with increase in an increase in intensity of light. This is all about the characteristics of photodiode.